And then we can go through here, one China policy. Focus currently has no effect, that is great. Number of areas broke away and attempt to form their own state. Blah, 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 blah. They publicly declare the Bidlay claim to the old Chinese borders that have stood for centuries before. Which is what we've done already. Pretty much. Oh, that will bypass. Ha ha ha. Already have a war goal here. Against all of these. Okay, so that, that will bypass because we have done that. Uh, we could go into Tibet, which we can't reach right now. We can ask them to become our puppet. <laughs> we have just seen how well that worked. Um, Arunachal Pradesh, that is part of India over here. That's that. That. So that would give us a war goal against the Allies, pretty much. Right? Yeah, against claim. Well, claim. Um, then we can demand Mongolia. Again, demand Mongolia is just a conquer focus, so we actually would have to go to war with them, and Mongolia is part of the common term, so we go to war with Russia doing that. Not the best thing. Alright, we could go nowhere else, because for this we can't be fascist. Uh, we could go over here. Overlordship over Indochina is a conquer focus against Free France. There's not much left of France, but Free France is still part of the Allies, so that's again war with the Allies. We could go and demand Japan if they say yes, however big that percentage is. They become our puppet, probably. It's the whole subjugation thing that we have, you know, here or here. So yeah, that's probably a puppet thing. Would be great if they if they do. If they don't, we get a war goal and we are not able to go in there because no navy, no air force. Um, and this would give us Korea, which we are already doing. So going down here is not the most necessary route right now. Let's put it this way. For this, we need to do purchase tanks. So that's definitely something we need to do. I'm not that much in a hurry. I mean, I would like to have the extra two factories. Sure, because they are for free. And we are at, you know, factory limit already. So that's, yeah, it's extra building slots as well. So that's one, two, three. This is also one, two, three. Yeah, let's go down here. Why not? Who cares? A lot of talk for a little action. Great. That's all done. That fight is still going on. You just get cut off there. Glorious. Glorious. I won't give in. I won't give in. Till I'm victorious. Exactly. And since we now have a free factory, we're going to start doing this. Switch to here. Do this. Take that away from there. How about that? For now. Missing four steel. Oh, what a pity. That reduces us by a whooping 5%. Um, we could afford to lose another factory to trade for a little bit more steel. I'm not gonna bother. Almost as like I'm playing as the Kaiser, but for China. Yeah! Um, I mean, I'm, I'm calling this Waking the Emperor, because we started as Manguku, was it Mangchuku? One of those two. <laughs> the other one was here. It's now both. And we got reformed into King China, and our ultimate goal is the Mandate of Heaven, which will make us the Chinese Empire. And, you know, Waking the Tiger. That's what this whole DLC is all about, so... Waking the Kaiser is the series I just finished playing as in Germany, um, bringing back the Kaiser. Oh, that's still the war against Korea going on here. I did, did what? Did, okay. Whatever. Hungary joined the Axis. Well, that's about time. Something just pop up here, or is that just that's that right? It's, it's the news thing, yeah. 
No template for support equipment. Right. Oh, white piece in Finland? That is interesting. I mean, we're historical AI here, so I guess, yeah. It's okay. Uh, I want you to have the engineer thing. See, that's one of the things I always found a little confusing. We don't have any support equipment using the company. We only have research, like, generic support equipment, which, you know, as you can see by the pictures, extra gasoline and medkits and radios and stuff. So we can start producing that without even knowing what these are. So what we're basically doing is we're telling some companies, fabricate us some shit that looks good and fits in a bag. And half a year later, we're going to decide to form a company that's highly specialized engineers, you know, which needs wire snappers and all that stuff to give us all these different bonuses. But you can already start packing some bags because it doesn't matter what shit you put in there. Where the hell does that make sense? <laughs> You're watching the Kaiser series now? That's glorious. Yep. Uh, I think that still goes on until Sunday, which is why I'm recording this right now, just to have something in store after that. The China multiplayer series, I think we still have like four weeks worth of material, at least like two or three weeks at least. Issue is, by the time what I'm saying just now is actually out on YouTube as a video, I finished moving home because I am moving in, oh, well, in seven days. Uh, 600 kilometers down south, as I keep saying, more than once per stream. And I don't know yet when my internet will be reconnected down there. I'm moving from cable to DSL, not by choice, but because there, there is no cable where I'm going to. It doesn't really matter, it's the same speed that I get. It's just, you know, switching cable to another cable is just... Switch it off, switch it on. It's done, it's remote. They just do it on the day. But they actually have to come in with a technician from, you know, this is all third-party companies and stuff, and have to make sure that the line for DSL is connected because they, before they switch over all the contract and stuff and things like that. And, you know, third-party companies, they say, yeah, uh, we're going to be there somewhere between tomorrow and Christmas. Well, it's not that severe, but it's usually somewhere between... They say it takes around two weeks, so it can be tomorrow, but it can be three weeks. I need to have some stuff prepared for YouTube, otherwise we're going to be out of videos. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, I can't press enter or escape to skip this. I actually have to use the mouse and I have both my hands full. That's pretty bad. Again. Please, let me take a drink. I've been talking for four hours. Game. So, how much longer until we get... We have so many war goals, and we're waiting for a war goal. Isn't that great? How much longer? It's at 80%. Alright. Well, it tells you over here, right? Not there. There? Yeah, there. 29th of May. One month. I can do that. Mechanized offense. Now, do we go air land battle, which is basically all the army gets heart attack, the tanks and armor get some stuff, uh, reinforce rate, uh, and some organization and air superiority, which we can't enact because we don't have an air force. Or we go all infantry gets stuff and all artillery gets stuff, which we do have, recon, which we are going to have at some stage, um, infantry... Which we do have recovery organization. That's not that bad. And tanks and armor will get the same if we ever have some. And more infantry stuff. Yeah, we're going to go down this route. There's just no way to go. That would be a waste of time for the army that we can actually field. Alright, so. Let's go extensive and see what happens. No, we can't because the 300. So we go limited, I guess. So we are 206,000 now. And since the last patch... Uh, you don't get it immediately anymore, it just trickles in over the next month. Month. <laughs> Plural. Uh, so we just need to wait and see how much we actually get. It will take a while. It would just be nice if this would give you any kind of idea on how much you actually get. I mean, it says monthly growth in states. It's great. 
total manpower, so much percent of whatever. You know, it says there, limited conscription. Why doesn't it say in brackets how much that is? It says it for the 1.5%. Anyway. Okay, before we check that, how is our standing with Germany right now? We're at 100. Improved relations is off, so this will probably fall down. Minus 3 per month. That is quite substantial. Uh, I'm just asking because we need to maintain, what, 75? Did that just give us that as well? I thought we just gained some tanks. Okay, cool, yeah. Chinese tanks. Um, so I can't even click on that. That's even worse. Yeah, they gave us that. Sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Being bullets, band-aid type and stuff. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, if it says support equipment and you're going to use support equipment to build an engineer company, then I expect stuff like spades and uh, bridge building equipment that, you know, you get a bonus like moving across rivers and stuff, so you do, should have bridge building equipment or, or stuff for if you're fighting in the desert so you don't sink into the sand that you can actually you know put some I don't know wooden planks over the sand so you can roll on your tracks instead of sinking in there and you will probably have to clear minefields and stuff that will be completely different to when you actually do a recon company that needs like binoculars and good radio equipment and probably camouflage <laughs> How does it help them if they're running around with band-aids? Now that is the actual support equipment for the support companies. So you can produce just some shit and then later decide what that shit is actually going to be used for without knowing up front what you have to produce. Or you just produce all of it. <laughs> and then you just have a stockpile of equipment that nobody needs because you're only doing recon. And it doesn't make sense. That's just the way it is. Yeah, still doing that, I know. Uh, there's... You're gonna go away in a second, right? Yeah, you just... Why am I even asking? Okay, this is going up. That's good. That is happening. Nice. So, how are we doing on all this stuff now? We still need 80 days until we can actually start putting in that in our into our template. Construction. This is all just passive stuff except for that, so we don't need to worry about that. They have a whooping two divisions, which we can actually... One is here, one is here. Yeah, we go around here, cut that off. We go in here, cut that off, and then we just march towards the capital. We're done. Also, capital is over here now and not down here as it was before, which is quite nice, I guess. These guys... Aggressive, so everybody moves, even if it's not of strategic value right now. Do this. Hey, Korea. I like you. I like you so much that I want to have you. No guarantees. No faction. You're gonna die now. And if that bites us in the butt, because Korea will now join whoever, like the allies, then that's just what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's see how fast we can do this. 29th of May. I want you to go here, then here, and then there. And that should do it. Go. Everybody should be attacking. Yeah, they are. And we're not even doing anything strategically here, just, you know, doing a pocket, cut them off, and just gonna move in. It will happen by accident. Like, these guys move through and this guy gets trapped in the middle. Yeah, it's... That's done. See, if that was the German army, we would be done by now. Because that's already taking too long. If you need a month to pacify Korea, you're not having any horses. <laughs> Have you heard of the sea bees? Uh, I might. Remind me.
Come on, move. They're still alive. Oh, there's a horse division there. Look at you. Oh, look, Japan. <laughs> Now, Korea is attacking. That is okay. Is Japan actually attacking? They should be able to... Oh no! Look, they don't have organization. Those are exile divisions. Is that the same over here? Yes, they are all exile divisions. They are just stuck. Oh, I love it. Uh, speaking of, I love it. Thanks! Oh, no, not escape. Done. China took two states. Korea was annexed. We got some equipment that nobody cares about. Go away. Go away. Go away. We're actually gaining some manpower. That's cool. We have some dockyards. We have military factories. Everything is good. And we don't have a template for support equipment. Because we can't change that. <laughs> we can produce support equipment, but we do need an actual support equipment using company to put into our template to make sense. Uh -huh. Uh I wanted to go over here and use some of the factories we just got. Uh, where am I going to put them? I mean, we do need the guns eventually, so it's always good to put that in there. Yeah. That's not nearly enough to have me satisfied somewhere. We do have free docks. Don't care about that. We're going to build some more so we can actually grab some, some convoys for trading and stuff. United States Navy Construction Battalions. Oh, yeah. 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 I have heard of that. Should have... Uh, I'm going to get that up to speed. Let's do that right now. And what are we going to build here? Ooh, with those resources, honestly, I want the maximum amount of resources out of that. Look, yep, just infrastructure all the way. That seems to be central China right now, because this is where the resources are. And you, and you, and you, and you go first. Probably. Let's do it like that. More of these, huh? If we have the resources, might as well use them for something. Not leaving any room for making nuclear reactors, it seems. That doesn't seem to be a thing this time. Although, I mean... We still have room to expand, so that's not a problem. Good, that is done. Yeah, sure, do that. Did that take...? Yeah, everybody's back to normal. So these guys are not needed over here anymore. China is not really known to do any big naval invasions, right? So what we're going to do... No, what we're actually going to do is we're going to delete all of that stuff. Come on, go away. And then we're going to use this guy and just set up something rather dynamic over here. Let's see if that works. Probably not. No. <laughs> Everybody's here, nobody's here. <sighs> if I do this, it just gets deleted, but it doesn't get reassigned. That's also pretty interesting. Now, can I do... This is probably a bit complicated to do. It's complicated! Can I do this and now redo this? Aha! I still don't like it, but anyway, if we go to war, these these two should automatically connect because they're touching. And then these front lines will still shift dynamically if they have to. Sure. Uh, 1940. We do need excavation 1 for one of the projects, and we do need excavation... No, construction 3 for the other. Let's start with that. And then have a quick look. Oh, we got another one. Tungsten mines around Shusin. Needs excavation 3. Okay. Gives us 6 tungsten. 
Uh, this one won Construction 3 and Excavation 1, and this one is Excavation 2. So this one should be available in a second, when we get this, because we have Construction 3. Then we need Excavation 2, and for the other one we needed Excavation 3, right? Yes, so we're going to do the Excavation stuff, and then get free resources, which is uh, good. Yeah, like it. Okay, so you guys get a preliminary order so you can build up some planning bonus. Always good to have. Even if you're not going to execute any of this. You're going to get behind the river here. It doesn't matter, right? Something like this. Yeah, that's good. I like how half the Japanese army stuck you. If Japan